So recently I've become very, very nostalgic. Um, I've been listening to a lot of noughties music, um, which has been weird and wonderful, but also very weird. Reliving music from your, from your childhood is a very weird experience. You expect it to be as good as you remember it, and you, you hold it very highly in your head, and you're like, this is gonna be great! I caught my mic. And you think like, this is gonna be great, this is gonna be amazing, like I remember this being a really good song. And you listen to it, and it's like... Recently, um, we put on the Cheeky Girls, because who doesn't love the Cheeky Girls? Uh, it turns out, no one. The majority of that is just auto-tune, and I do not remember hearing that much auto-tune when I was younger. That came out when I was in like year two. <laughs> and so like, I started going through the top hits in the noughties, and like, there are some cracking good songs in the noughties. I mean, there was like... Alright, I'm gonna rephrase that. There are some okay songs that sound good, that aren't too cringy. But there are also very cringy songs, and I'm just gonna talk about the good songs, I think. I mean, In The Noughties is where I kind of first owned my first lot of albums when I was younger, growing up. Um, and I've recently made a Spotify playlist of just like the, al like the albums that I owned when I was younger, and I've been recently re listening to those albums because my childhood. I just want to relive it. I'm going through a nostalgia fest right now. Um, and like, my first ever album that I ever, ever owned was My Chemical Romance, Welcome to the Black Parade. Like, that is a really good album. It's like one of their first albums. So good. So good. I love listening to that. Like, every song on that is just absolutely amazing. As well as that, I also owned uh, an album, Scout for Girls, I owned. It was a very good album. Uh, the Hoosiers, who were very good back in the day. Back in the day. Um, suddenly, Brightness. And The Killers. Day and Age, I think it was. Day and Age. The Killers was a good album. I liked that. It was a good collection of songs. I liked the songs from the noughties. I don't quite like the songs now. Songs, like, songs nowadays don't sound as good. I don't know why. But back then, songs were better. In my opinion. Back then, songs were actually songs. People could play instruments. That was a thing people could do once upon a time. I don't know. I've always kind of... I, I enjoy listening back to good old good old music. There's, there's some music from the noughties that need to stay in the noughties. But then there's like some good songs that came out of the noughties. Like Black Eyed Peas, Where's the Love? That is an absolute great song. There's a tune and a half. Remember when they used to say that back in day? No? I was a cool kid. So nowadays, I don't tend to buy albums anymore. I never buy albums. I always buy them online. I always buy it on like, uh, Google Play Music, or I listen to it all on Spotify. The sun is getting intense! I'm burning! <laughs> I'm just gonna do my video from here. So like, I don't buy albums anymore. I listen to everything on Spotify, or I buy it on like, Google Play. And I didn't quite miss albums, buying albums, having a physical copy, it was always quite nice. So what was the first album or record or whatever, what is the first physical copy of music that you ever owned? I want to know. Please comment down below. I would love to hear it. Mine was, uh, as I said, uh, My Chemical Romance, Book to the Bat Parade. It's a great album. I absolutely love it. I might actually go out and buy it again just so we can have a physical copy, that'd be great. Or I might buy it on vinyl, and buy a vinyl player, just for that. I don't know. But what was your, what was your favorite? What was your first ever, ever physical copy of music? And did you enjoy it? Or was it a regret? So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye bye.